Hello everybody, my name is Major Total War and welcome to this installation video for the SUS submod. Now before we get started, you must make sure you have the following installed, which is DAC version 4.6 and, and AGO version 2.1, which as of the recording of the 19th of the 4th, 2022, is the most up-to-date version of AGO. So it's AGO version 2.1. Once you've installed AGO, make sure it works, so boot it up, go through the custom battle map, or whatever you want to call it. Exit AGO, and we're going to get to your desktop, which is here. So the first thing we want to do to install SUS is we want to find our AGO 2.1 shortcut. For me, it's this one here, so I'm going to right-click it, and I'm going to click Open File Location. We're on this page here, so it's going to click Open Your AGO. We're going to go back one space, and so we're going to click on Mods, which is your main mods folder for your med 2. Now what I want you to do is I want you to find whatever your AGO is called. So mine is divide and conquer AGO. I want you to right click it, copy it, and then paste it. It'll take about 5 or 10 minutes, depends on how good your PC is. Once it's been pasted, it'll come up here. It'll say divide and conquer AGO slash copy or dash copy, whatever you want to call it. And once that copied folder is here, on your mods page, I want you to rename it to sus or whatever you want to call the sus folder to be. For me, it's AGO because that sus is my current sus one and this one's my installation one. <laughs> but you're going to rename it sus. So once you've renamed it sus, I want you to minimize this, minimize your file explorer. Head on over to the Discord for sus. If you haven't got Discord, I would recommend downloading it. It is, it is a good way to engage with people and see what's going on with different mods and stuff but once you've once you're on discord if you haven't got discord i will put a link in this video description for the download but you should really get get discord it's good it's good click on this sus version 2 don't worry about the date which it was released because they, they do update it on the same on the same file if that makes sense but we're going to click sus v2 glory of gondor it should bring us over to this page here, media fire page. It's going to say SUS V2, Glory of Gondor, download 72.75 megabytes. I'm going to click download. We'll do it again. I've, I've done it a couple of times today, just in, clear, in case. That's downloading, as you can see. Take it, It'll take a minute or so. It's not, it's not too bad. It depends on how good your internet is, to be fair. If you've got good internet, it shouldn't take too long. It's getting nervous now because we're watching it, but it should it should be good. Any minute now, it should be good. Well, we do it. There we are. Champion. So we're going to exit this. You don't need this anymore. Minimize Discord. You don't need that anymore. We're going to head back to our File Explorer, and you're going to go to your Downloads page. So as you see, as you can see, I have downloaded it a couple of times uh, over the just to make sure. But what I want you to do is click on it, right click, click Copy, and then I want you to go to your. We'll go to your Mods page. So if you like, say if you can't find it, you can minimize this. Head on over to your desktop, right click on your AGO shortcut, click open file location, head back to mods. Now for me at this point, I like to make a folder within this within the mods folder just for our for our submods and our downloads. For me it's called A, you can name it whatever you fancy. So we're going to click on this file. As you can see I've already got sus here, sus 2.1, so we're going to click on this as well. And then as you can see, we've already got it on here, but for the sake of showing you, we're going to right click and we're going to click paste so it'll say it won't say this for you but for me I'll, I'll replace it it doesn't matter too much and then once you've done that so once you've pasted it on it won't come up with that because i've already done it it'll just say sus v2 glory of gone or zip file so when you click on it right click and then extract here and then what will happen is this glory of gondor file will appear so extract it here and it'll come up with this so once you've done that I want you to double click on your Glory of Gondor normal file, not the zip file. And you'll have three files here. Data, Extra, and Sus Changelog. So we're going to click Control A. So that should click all of them. Copy. Don't cut. Copy. Head back to our newly named Sus file, which for you guys will be Sus. For me is AGO. So we're going to click on here. And then once you're on this page, all I want you to do is to click right on your mouse and then click paste it won't take long 
there will be a, a message will come up on the screen. It'll say something like replace these files. Click yes, always replace the files. It shouldn't take long. Once it's done, I want you to go to your large address aware.exe. So you double click that. Click yes. Click on med2. Make sure the box is ticked. Click save. Exit that. I'm going to mute that because I should have muted it. I apologize for that. Next, what I want you to do is I want you to go on your tatw.cfg file, which is this file here. For you, it might just be called tatw. It depends if you've got your extensions on when you're on your new desktop. For me, I do. But this one here, cfg tatw1. Click on it. And I want you to find this mod. So it's the third line down. It'll say mods. For you, it will currently say mods slash divide and conquer copy or just divide and conquer. I want you to delete the first half. We'll redo it for me here. So I've put AGO because my folder is called AGO, as you can see on the top left of your screen. So get rid of whatever's on this side of the forward slash and then put in whatever you've named your newly named sus folder to be. So if it is sus, put sus. If it's whatever, make sure the file is in this part here. So mine's called AGO. I've highlighted it. It's AGO. So once you've changed this from whatever it was before to your newly named folder click control s so you saved it make sure it's exactly the same so just like to say if you just name it sus sus lowercase put sus in there control s cancel that's sorted last thing before you start up which probably is, well i mean they're all important but <laughs> your last one is your full clean it dot bat file which is this batch file here as you can see so it's still on your newly named sus folder so we're gonna click full cleaner you will get quite a lot of messages ignore them just click enter and then once you've done all that you should be ready to go so to launch sus if you've played AGO it is this m2tweop.exe file which is this one here this application as you can see so we're going to double click that and hopefully here we are it'll load up if for whatever reason you'll get a message It'll say modders suck, flame the devs, or something like that. You've done something wrong, or one of your files has corrupted, or you've 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 tink if you tinkered with your files before you've installed SUS, just do a clean installation of AGO or DAC, whichever you fancy. Now for me, you the SUS still uses the AGO sort of menu and things like that. But the quickest way to find out if it works is go on custom battle, click on period, click on all, click on next. And you will see the Ringlow Swordsman unit for Gondor. And the Gondor Pikeman unit. And the Pelagia Marines and the Axe Guard of the Sarnak. If those four units aren't on your screen right now, you've done something wrong. Whether you've installed it incorrectly or there's a file that's corrupt or something like that. But if these four units are on your screen, you've installed it correctly. That's the only way, that's for me, that's how I always know if SUS is working. You can check on the RR deny them. as you can see all their unit cards have changed, they're very nice, very crisp from AGO. Uh, I think the, if I scroll down to this unit here, the Royal Legion of Armenolos, isn't on AGO, but is on SUS, so I would recommend playing the AGO, they're a very good campaign. The Dwarven Factions, as you can see, Swan's done a great job here on moving across some of the different clanned uh, dwarven factions to either Kazadoom, Erebor, or Ered Lewin. It's got merchant infantry there as well. So click on either of the any of the dwarven factions. Gondor, like I say, it's the first one that loads up. Look for that Ringlow Swordsman unit. Gondor Pikes, Plagia Marines. Yeah. If you go on the campaign map, the War of the Ring, it'll just be the same as AGO. It won't be up until you have inst you've started the the campaign. With Gondor or with Dol Amroth, that you'll get a message. I don't want to ruin it for you, but it's, it's a good experience. If this isn't working, just repeat the process that we've done and just do clean installations of DAC and then AGO. Hopefully, though, you should be... As long as you haven't messed around with your files or anything, you should be okay. And that, and that is it. It's fairly straightforward. If you have any questions, any queries, anything like that, Please head on over to the SUS Discord. It's the best place to find any information or to get any help from any of the guys that do, any of the developers or the guys that... There's, there's, there's always someone kicking around on the Discord, pretty much any time of the day, that can help you out. Um, if you're, like I say, if you're not a Discord person, you, you 
don't use it for whatever example, for whatever reason, I don't know. You can put a comment in this video. I'm more than welcome. I'm, you know, you're more than welcome to put a comment. Now, I'll try my best. I'm not the best with <laughs> stuff like that. But I thought if I can install it, then pretty much any of you guys can install it. Because I'm not the best with computers. Hopefully it works. I hope you have a good time playing sus. It's a really good sub mod. And I think it's only going from strength to strength. And, and hopefully more and more people on YouTube will promote it. And we can get a bit more sort of traction with it. Because it's, it's making really good progress at the minute. Which is good to see. And you know, I hope that more people use it. But I hope you have a good time playing it. Like I say, any questions, Discord or in the comment section here. And hopefully, I will see you guys on the next one.